How's it going guys? It's Blocks from the Barbershop. Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. Today I'm gonna talk about pros and cons of working for a barbershop. How much do you pay for a shop rent? Like a real number for that, it, it just really depends on how busy the shop is and like what the shop provides for the for the barber. Like if for, for instance, if you're at a busy shop, I think now, now some barbers are charging like, I heard like 200 bucks a week, you know? So if you add that up, that's like 800 uh, a month. So it just depends what kind of barbershop you go to, you know? What do you think is the best option, commission or rent? For like a shop owner, would probably be commission. As a barber trying to get a job, I would think booth rent's better, but it, but it just kind of depends on uh, on how the barbershop owner wants to handle the situation, you know? But he thinks it's better for him, you know? It just, it just all depends to the barbershop owner. So like for my barbershop, I, I pay like for utilities, you, you have to pay like insurance, you have to pay uh, electricity. And that's basically it, you know? And, and like all your expenses, like, like um, your clippers and stuff like that. But all, all that, like it's not really that much, you know? How much commission do you get out of each cut if you have barbers working for you? It just depends, like if the if the haircut's 20, maybe uh, the barber keeps like like 13 and you keep, you keep seven. It just depends, and like if they, if they do a beard, maybe they keep the beard money and, and uh, you keep a small percentage. It, it just, that's pretty much how, how commission works, you know? Like if you do a haircut, the barbershop owner gets, gives, gets a piece. So if you pay booth rent, uh, all you pretty much do is pay a monthly fee, like, like 500 bucks a month or a thousand and you don't have to give uh, a percentage to the owner. Whatever you make, you, you take home, if you pay them monthly. What do I think is better for a beginning barber? A booth rent or commission? I think they're both good options. I think um, if you're barely starting off and you feel confident, I would go for the booth rent. J just so you pay the, the money up front and you don't have to be giving, giving the owner like a little piece of every haircut. But if you feel like you don't have enough clients, like you might not have a, a big following at first, I would start off with, with commission and that way you don't have to give all the money up front. That way, uh, if you cut somebody up today, all you do is get barbershop owner percentage and, and, uh, and you keep a piece and you don't have to put up like a thousand dollars a month or, or 500 on the booth rent. You know, it's a little bit better option. How did I start off my business? Um, how I started, uh, I, I think my first shop that I started, we would do commission or percentage, however you want to call it. Um, I think at the time we were charging $15. So he would, I would get 12 and he would keep, he would keep three and I would keep the tip. So pretty much I think, it, I think that was like 70% uh, and he would keep 30. So that was pretty good, you know, I liked it. You make good money, you know, and, and so does the barbershop owner. Like uh, he would get his good money too. Like if I would make 300, he would get a good piece of that. He would get like 60 bucks or whatever, but that's still something, you know, $60 out of 300. So he would take a nice little chunk out of my out of my paycheck. Has the barbershop commission changed over the years? Um, I think it has, like, like now haircuts are like $20, 25. So if you're doing commission, it could be a little bit different, you know? Maybe the barber's keeping uh, 15 now and the, and the barbershop owner's keeping five. So it just, it just kind of depends how they're doing it, you know? How is it dealing with other barbers? Well, me personally, I've only worked at a few shops, you know? And it's pretty cool, like, like um, you kind of get like some friendly competition next to you and, and you learn to, to kind of feed off the other barbers. Like if the other barber is good, you learn to feed off feed off that and use that to your advantage and get better, you know? Like, um, but it's always good to, to work at a good shop and work alongside like some of the best barbers and, 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 and it'll eventually rub off you, you know? If you're not that good and you start working with some good barbers, eventually, like no matter what, you'll, you'll become better and, you, and you'll see a better version of yourself, you know? That's how I started when, when I, Got into my first shop. I knew how to cut hair, and I was a decent barber. But I felt like my my game just changed. Like it went from down here to like up here. So it's always good to work with with someone that's better than you, and and just learn how to grow from there. Is there a lot of jealousy and like rumors? Um, yeah. Like I personally dealt with stuff like that, you know. But um, like at my first shop, we didn't really come out on good terms, you know. But honestly, if I would have never left that shop, I would have never had this opportunity. But yeah, sometimes it's better for you to move on, like, like if you're having problems with uh, your barbershop or or maybe the barbershop owner, is, you know, and, and you don't feel right, yeah, just get your stuff and, and move on, you know, like uh, don't feel like, like you need to stay committed to that spot. Sometimes it's good to branch out and, and start your own thing, you know, choose your own path. Don't be a follower, you know, just, just it's always good to stick to your own lane and, and, and make your own route and eventually it'll pay off like it did for me, you know, like I thank God every day and, and I got lucky, you know. What are the pros and cons of working at a shop? Well, the, well, the pros, uh, let's say you're at a busy shop, you'll stay busy yourself, you know, like um, as long as you keep doing some, some, good, some good work. But let's say the shop 
is too busy and there's a lot of barbers and uh, and there's not enough walk-ins, maybe you won't stay uh, booked up like you want to because there's not enough to go around. But it, but, but it, it definitely works out. It, it just depends what kind of shop you're working in, how, how busy it is and, and uh, you know, if it has a lot of walk-ins or not or mainly appointments, it just depends how it operates. So hopefully you guys like this video and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much.